Okay, we'll wait for bacon here. Yeah. Bacon eater. Damn, that's funny. Oh, your phone's got a bigger screen than mine. Yeah, I used fucking. I forget what it was. Oh, yeah, dude, because since, like, fucking. It was such a party over at the fucking, uh, scene over there. Like, fucking, everybody was fucking going crazy. Like, I looked at some of the live footage and was like, dude, can't be say that shit live. No. So I started just recording the shit and then going through and just editing yeah, out yeah, all yeah. the dumb shit. And then you can, then you post it and it's cool. As long as you're not playing covers, they don't care. Oh, yeah, they fucking... They don't chip on that, dude. I've been doing Facebook Lives where it's just me just sitting there just doing shit. Just like... Fucking drawing, drawing or drinking fucking beer. And like I'll have like music playing in the background, like Metallica or something. Dude, if you put on popular music, yeah, they hit you right away. They're like, you better quit recording or we're gonna cut your feet off. And they do, the motherfuckers. Or your your video is partially muted. It's like do you have to be crushed by music. Yeah, do you have the rights? Of course I have the rights. I wrote that shit, motherfucker. <laughs> I don't know who the fuck is Ray. Oh, dude, yeah, can you get him? He's a dr he's like Samal's fucking uh, bass player, right? Yeah. Think he'd come? I don't think they've been practicing. She said I'm not letting nobody over. Well, she might be lying, of course. But. Uh, we're live, but yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with her or anybody over yeah, there. Oh, I talked, no, I talked to Billy, and she told Billy the same thing. Like, Billy, I, Billy, I was like, I heard you were fucking jamming over there and shit. And he's like, yeah, but she said fucking, we can't fucking yada, yada, yada. We're taking a break for a while, so maybe she's got something going on. I don't she's, know if my brother let me play her set or his set or something like that. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, it bums me out, though, dude, because I was all excited about the whole, yeah, fucking let's jam, dude. I'm like, fuck, oh, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Guaranteed. Here, Here's what it is, though. I am a piece of shit, Tom. I'm sorry. I wasn't raised right, and I wasn't hugged oh, enough as a small child. <laughs> I know all that shit. That was something new. That's, just, that's the thing about me. I'm a broken record. It really ain't anything new, ever. It's just you, right? That's exactly what it is, dude. You need a fucking drinking buddy, though. You can't handle it. Just get wasted with me every day. You can't handle <laughs> drinking with me. Dude. I'm drinking them. I'm going for it. <laughs> yeah, dude. Fuck. And you gotta keep up with whiskey and shit. Okay, I can't, dude. I can't do that because I'll be fucking a raging maniac. Just, I don't like I know. It. It's like I don't like being like a raging maniac. Makes me nice and smiley. <laughs> See, I'm a, I'm an angry drunk. Can't, like. I don't know why people do that. They got a hurt inside, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. I fucking... I've had more than one person comment on it. It's like, dude, you're 
We can all sit around and drink and fucking we're all happy. You're just fucking bleh. Whatever, man. The world sucks. Uh, like tequila and shit like that gets me. Yeah. Fuck, it gets me crazy. If I drink a bunch, I have to drink a bunch. I love tequila, dude. Those, that's my new thing. Instead of Fireball, I'm going with those 100 proof fucking uh, gasoline shots, dude. <laughs> We should have got a little of those and just start. get the no sugar one. What the fuck is all this shit about no sugar, Tom? I don't fucking eat sugar hardly anymore. Why? You don't need it. It's bad for your immune system. That's true. Fucking if you uh, ingest more than 100 milligrams of sugar in like a fucking hour, it lowers your, like you, you can get sick. Yeah, yeah I know that's my true. blood pressure and, and I got I had a heart attack, you know, so, like... You had a like, heart attack? Yeah, when I was 42, you were... And I was in good shape. I was throwing buckets over my head all day. It's because you're eating nothing but bacon, bro. Well, no, because I, I felt something coming on, and I was like, so I was trying all these diets, and I went vegan and shit. Because my nephew said, go vegan, man, you lose weight, you feel good and shit. And I was tough, you know, I was solid and everything like that, but, uh, uh, just one day I was digging out in the backyard on the weekend, and I was like, damn, I feel like shit. Like that. And I went inside and I had a beer, smoked a bowl, and then, uh, I was like, fuck, this is kind of weird. I need some aspirin or something like that. Or I didn't, couldn't find the aspirin. Did you feel like chest, like, ch- mm-hmm. was it tight? You fucking... Well, you control breathing? <clears throat> you couldn't breathe because your heart isn't moving. Your lungs aren't expanding. Because it's a muscle. Yeah. Hey, hey. And so I was like in the fucking bathroom and I was kind of kneeling over. I was like, just hyperventilating. You know, Dude. And wife came, just came home right then. I was like, I'm going to the fucking hospital now. She's like, sure you want to call an ambulance? And they're all like, you should have called an ambulance. Because <laughs> you have to wait. And tell it's your fucking turn if you should show up in the door. Yeah, right? Even if you're dying. I so, didn't know that one. Fuck, dude. Call an ambulance, yeah, every time. So. Fucking A, dude. What'd they tell you? Do you, got like a, do you need like a bypass? Like fucking what, dude? No, they gave me four stents because I had clogs in the artery. Shit. Yeah. I was working so much I had to eat out a lot. Shit. That fucking McDonald's killed you. McDonald's and Burger King ripped me. Fuck McDonald's. Fuck McDonald's. McDonald's. I've been eating a lot, dude. I don't know. Like, I guess the coronavirus is a blessing because that's all I've been eating is like McDonald's and Taco Bell for the last like two, three months, dude. Yeah, nothing will live on that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I wake up, I go get a fucking Taco Bell. They got some, they got some good ass burritos, you know, dude, for breakfast. Breakfast. Fry up the steak and butter if I want, and then throw some bacon on it, throw eggs in it, cheese, whatever. I just make a montage. 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 When you go from bad to worse, you need a montage. Get the hell out of here. Come on. Go. 
What part of your fucking pig is the bacon? Belly. Fucking there, dude. Dang, dude. This is like real bacon, too. It doesn't have any ad to it. It'd be nice to own some pigs, man. And fucking some fat ass pork chops all day long. It's four bucks for three pounds, that shit. Bacon ham, bro. Mm-hmm. It's the ends, they say. Definitely don't sell them, you know. In the perfect packaging. Too much when it comes to like the more fucking, sugar breaks down, the more it gets higher potent. So. Yeah, man. he was saying like I was like, dude, I like the cheap beer because it gets me just as drunk, but I think it tastes better. And he's like, nah, man, our shit is more expensive because my shit is like eleven percent, like twenty-two proof. So if you're fucking paying that extra money. But their beer is ass water compared to like, <laughs> Port Pines and shit. Like, they're way better beer in Port Pines. Dude, when I was working there, though, dude, those fools, like, Colin, the brewer there, was a badass. Like, he would give me cases of the low fills, which means it's, like, that much at the top. They're all canned. But, dude, I'd be walking home like this. Be like, uh-huh. 
Yeah, I, I had stacks in my fucking uh, storage unit for a minute, and I had shit at home too. And like, that's perfect. My friend came down, the one who was supposed to come down. He came down this one fuck like last year, and uh, fucking uh, he's like, "Where'd you get all this beer?" I'm like, "This is where I work, motherfucker. I work at a brewery, dude. Yeah. It's not a restaurant." Dude's gotta look fucking go be wearing sunglasses while he's working here. Yeah. So, yeah. so slow. Oh, damn, it's so slow. Dude, for cooking? Uh, not at Seaquake, dude. There's yeah. fucking. Ow. That's the. That's where everybody goes, dude. Lunch, dinner. It's just fucking slammed. Just bam. Yeah, I know. You can't get nut. You can't get nothing for hours. <laughs> yeah, dude. Seriously. A lot of that's because the fucking. Uh, we didn't get a waitress for forty-five minutes, and that's normal. Yeah. See, they're all going there, even though there's no business in this town. They all go there. All the tours, everybody. And then it took like. An hour, like two hours, to even sit, be seated or something. Like that. I can't I'm sure what it was. It was yeah. like an hour and a half, and then we had to wait forty-five minutes. So like that must seated. that must have been a Friday or a Saturday for real. Yeah, it was a Saturday. Yep. Yeah, dude. And I was like, "Is this all we get?" <laughs> They're like, "Yeah, fuck so off, man. You're a sea quake fool." I was like, "The beer is fucking uh, all right." It just they had so many different brewers there that they don't have a real solid brewer, you know. Just like some wrong brew dudes come show up. And say, they only got one brewer now. It, it's probably getting better, but it was just bad for a while there, dude. I was like, oh man, this tastes like dog piss. <laughs> yeah. It it it's got to got. Yeah, you don't have to throw the actual pineapple in it because it's fucking. Like, yeah, you know, it's like you get the essence, bro. <laughs> you know, they had some chunk stuff. I don't know. One of their beers wasn't cool with me. So. Uh, yeah, that must have been. Colin just makes straight fucking like beer that's like beer. Beer, beer. Oh, yeah, like beer, beer. Blood, 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 yeah. Well, no, I mean, it's fucking. Well, it's, you know, microbrew. It's strong. But it's just like. How long has Colin been there? Uh, okay, so it's been a year since I worked there. Not a year, about fucking six, seven months since I worked there. And I worked there for like a year and a half. Like, he's been there like. Probably two years now, three years, maybe three. So two when we went years. here, it was when went there is when my first daughter's first birthday here, my oldest daughter's, and that was almost two years ago. So maybe we missed it. Yeah, it was. It must have been right on the chain. They brought him down from Idaho. Apparently, they just put an ad in the paper. <laughs> he saw. He saw it on the internet. It was like, yeah, I'm a I said that at Port Pines. I was like, okay. Man. I was like, those guys suck down here. Like, <laughs> they're like, but, see, that but there are friends, man. You can't be saying stuff like that. I was like, well, I apologize for that. To you. <laughs> Damn, I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, Frank, motherfucker. Hey, burn, my guy. <laughs> I swear to God, it was like, I hope this is the food I ordered, you know, and shit, because the waitresses seemed like they didn't know what they're doing. Like, okay. Yeah, I you hate what you have a special. It's on your thing, you know. This is a long way. Uh, trendy, I guess. You know, I guess. It's a brewery, and it's a big one. No, dude, those bitches were scared of me. They, like, made my job, like, basically undoable. Or, yeah, because they would fucking not, like, ask me because they were scared of me because I got a big beard and it's red and I'm fucking angry. <laughs> like, but no, nah, dude, I'm at work 100% professional, not on anything, but these bitches got to go to the fucking the boss and tell them, yeah, I can't ask Ricky this or Ricky said this, Ricky said that. So you got a bad rap? Oh, yeah, dude, it was immediate. Like, imme- like check it out. I have a friend that I drink with every now and again. We're like, close friends, we're drinking buddies. So he heard that fucking I had a job at Sequake cooking over there. Apparently on my day off, this is the first week I worked there, the motherfucker came in and Sequake goes, hey, let me get that Ricky special. And, and they're like, what the fuck is the Ricky special? He's like, cook me some free shit. <laughs> Dude, my boss, when I came right. off my week, I was like, what the fuck are you doing? Are you free telling shit. people to come in here to eat for free and shit like that? I'm like, no, I don't know who that drunk fuck is, dude. Yeah. Like, I have no idea. <laughs> Yeah, it was fucked up. Good old so, days, huh? No, dude, bad old days. Like, from that point on, I don't know how I lasted as long as I did. 
Because they were on my ass and up my ass and like sideways on my ass like every fucking day. I was like, I got to the well, point like, fuck it. you. I, I just come in every day and be like, fuck you. If you yeah, have really the business and you're paying for this fucking work, you can want it to fucking work. Huh? I do work though. I fucking, I was more professional than any of those motherfuckers. They're I know, like, but they don't Don't you know me. how to fucking date and label shit? And they're like, what do you mean? I'm like, you gotta fucking, all what the meats go on the bottom. All the fucking, dude, everything, or the fucking poultry, very bottom. Uh-huh. And I, I was just schooling them, yeah. and nobody listened to me because I didn't look professional enough, apparently. These yeah. bitches, dude. I hate them. You know, she get a skull tattoo. She, fuck you. I don't, no. Oh, fuck, I missed I got it. this, though. I got my upside down cross. Oh, yeah, what happened to this lug here, man? It's me.
right? Sure. That sounds good. Dude, we're fucking picking it up there, bro. We're crushing it there for a sec.